So this is how you do it, right? So you're going to go on Google, right? And you're going to go. So, for example, I know that the case in the Southern District of New York, right? So I go, Pacer, Southern District of New York, bang, right? And then I click this, all right? So I'm already logged in, but this is where it's going to bring you, right? Click this, and then bang, it's going to give you your login stuff, right? Sign in, okay? Now I'm going to go query. Then, see, I already have the case here populated, but normally this is what you do. You type in the last name, all right? So see, as you guys can see, this is my searches, right, from the other cases we've done. And then, oh, there's my government. Oh, shit! No, it's Ghislaine. I didn't search myself on here, just like some stupid fucking shit. <clears throat> anyway, so as you guys can see, um, here is um all her stuff, right? So <laughs> just, uh, you know, let, let's go through this real quick. I'm going to show you guys how many times she's been sued. All right, look at this. Civil case, civil case, civil case. Oh, this is the victim right here. So this girl right here, they can't see it? Okay, my bad. Thanks, Christina. Uh, let me enlarge it for y'all real fast. Is that better? Got y'all, baby. I got y'all. Okay. Uh, good catch, Christina. All right. So this right here, this is the girl. This the, Remember this girl that I showed y'all Um, for our boy Prince Andrew? This chick? This is her. This is Guifer. I mean, I probably mispronounced. I'm butchering it. But this is her. Look, here's here's the uh, civil case. Oh, this is probably the one that she fucking lied at. <laughs> it's from 2016. So yeah, this is probably the depth. Is, this is where she probably lied. <laughs> so here she is, plaintiff. Okay, and she sued uh, Prince Andrew, uh, Prince Andrews as well. See, defendant, bang, and then and then here is the the um the civil case, guys. This is all of it right here. Affidavit and declaration, right? Okay, order. It's from 2019. Um, let's see here. This is the complaint right here. Case has been indexed and assigned to judge. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, this is probably because this case was used used in that criminal case. <laughs> All right. So yeah, as you guys can see, here she is, right? This is a plaintiff, right? Civil case. Was this no no no? It was seven three four four. Hmm. Let's see if we can find that one. But this is this is the girl that was in that picture that I showed y'all. It was seven. I remember it was seven three four four, or seven some four four three or something like that. Uh. Yeah. As you guys can see, see these are all her civil cases, right? Uh. And then this is the criminal case right here. Remember, guys, I said CR, which means it's criminal, right? USA versus Maxwell versus Ghislaine Maxwell. Same thing, guys. It's the same exact case. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. And then. Here's the other. Here's another civil one right here. So 15 and 16, right? And then that's just under one name, under another one. Uh, this one is another civil case. Uh, 17, boom. Jane Doe, 43 versus Epstein et al., right? So there, there you go. That's another civil case of them suing Epstein and everybody else. Here she is again. Vernon versus Maxwell et al., civil case. Latham et al., the 1950 D trust at all. This is probably um, Epstein's um, trust since he's since he passed away, and they're suing her as well, right? So filed in 2020, 2020, right? New lawsuits, and then here she is again under her full name. Which one is this one? Yeah, Vernon versus Epstein at all. Colleen McMahon presiding. Yeah, see, so they're they're coming after her, man. So these are all civil cases, guys. So anyway, let's go back to the criminal case that we're looking at. Just want to show you guys how she's getting sued. Epstein was even worse. If you type his name in, bro, he has all kinds of lawsuits coming at him. All kinds. All right. Uh, here, I'm going to screenshot this. Uh, right, can you screenshot those, those instructions right there? I'll take it off so people can see what's going on here. All right. So, okay. So now that we got the case here, right? So, okay. So going back to what I was saying. So you type in the name. And then you click docket report. Okay. So 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 let's go back on this so I don't confuse y'all. So right, you go in here, Maxwell, boom, here's a case, run a query, right? You don't have to have the case number, you could just do it by last name. But since I already searched, that's why it comes up. Then you click docket report, right? Boom, here she is. So here is the judge. Okay, here she is, the defendant one, right? 
Okay. This is her attorneys, right? She has a whole team. These are the charges, which she was found guilty of, right? Five out of six. All right. Then, um, okay, of course. Interested party reporters of committee for freedom of press. So see, look, there's reporters in here and shit. This is how you know it's a big case when they have people like that. Intervener. Okay, this guy is re representing probably the victims. Yeah, and victim. Yeah, boom. See, now here's a plaintiff, United States of America. Here's the AUSA. This is the lead AUSA. First chair, second chair, and then third chair. Damn, that, that four. Is this four AUSA? Five? Hot damn. This was the indictment that we just read. Okay. Yeah, they were going. They, bro, they, 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 I'll tell you all this, man. Five AUSAs on a case. This is not normal whatsoever. But obviously, this is a high profile case, right? And this, guys, is how you see everything on the case, okay? So as you guys can see, a lot of filings, right? A lot of stuff going on here, okay? And this is how you look at a case on Pacer. Um, so, yeah, this is her arraignment. This is, like, right after she got arrested. And this is uh, normally, guys, a bunch of stuff happens at the beginning when you get arrested, you know? And because of COVID, they had to put in all these motions to make sure that it's okay that they do it through teleconference, et cetera. OK, because as you guys know, New York is a clown world over there. And, uh, you know, they, they take uh, the beer bug extremely serious up north. So. Um, so, yeah, look at all like all these filings. Right. Uh, waiver of right to be present at criminal proceeding. Right. Because it's obviously, um, you know, uh, through covid. Right. So she had to do everything probably through teleconference. So this is what a lot of these orders are for. OK, now let's get into our. Let's 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 go into the juicy stuff here because a lot of this stuff is you know monotonous uh, court documents that really isn't um, not not really relevant to us. Okay, a lot of it is like you know motions here and there. Okay, I need more extensions. I need time. This is why the court system takes so goddamn long. All right, sealed documents. These are probably financial affidavits, right? Um, so, all right. So let's see here. <laughs> Actually, you know what? So. Uh oh, we gotta go way down. This is all 2021, right? This is leading up to the trial, right? As we know, she got found guilty uh on the 28th of um the 28th, and then she goes on the 28th, right? She gets found guilty, and then this fucking juror, guys. This is clown world shit here. So let me show y'all. So she goes, so Amicabus curate brief on the National Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers. So they filed this document, okay, because on behalf of Ghislaine, because they felt that she got an unfair trial as well, okay? And then here she is. This is her team files. Motion for new trial. Document filed by Ghislaine Maxwell. We're going to read through this bad boy. This one has some, uh, some funny shit on here that I want to show y'all. And then memorandum for opposition by the United States. So here, so they file this on the 24th. Hey, motion for new trial. Yo, like the fucking video, by the way. Ain't nobody breaking down these cases like this with y'all. Who's going to go and pace her, read through the stuff with you guys, show you guys what the fuck is going on, show you guys the court documents. I'm actually going to go through the court documents with you guys. Education, edutainment, and we're the fucking best, okay? Give me, I'm giving myself a Dr. Marco right now. Because ain't nobody else doing this for y'all right now, breaking down these cases to this level of degree, uh, to, this de uh, to this level. Uh, Captain Sadir. Uh, oh shit! Hold on. He goes. Uh, cool. You are like a detective in your vids, so I would recommend Death Note or Conan anime if you are interested in criminal slash cases. Thanks for your vids. No problem, my friend. Thank you so much for the support. Um, but yeah, guys, like the video. We got seven hundred you guys in here right now watching. You guys could be anywhere else on a Sunday night, but you guys are here with me. And uh, what? One more? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay, one more super chat before I pull up this stuff because this shit is comedy, bro. Um. First, I ever super chatted someone. You're awesome, Iron. Thank you so much, Cali209. Love you, man. Appreciate the love. Uh, all right. So, yeah, man. Uh, like, guys, nobody could break this stuff down for you guys. I'm a, I used to, I used to do these cases. I used to look through a patient like this because as an agent, as a case agent, guys, you have to keep track with your case. You got to know when court, uh, you know, court dates are there. The AUSA is going to call you. Hey, that is as a prosecutor, by the way. He's going to tell you, hey, I need you to be here at this court hearing. I need you to fucking testify. Guys. I've testified hundreds of times, 
hundreds of times I've testified under oath. So it's nothing to me. So I'm very aware of how the court system works because I was a very active agent. I was doing cases. So um, all I got to say is this is a big fuck up. If I was a prosecutor right now, I'd be livid. This is craziness. You literally just want a trial. Going to trial is not fun, guys. It, it, it's, it's a lot of stress. It's extremely difficult to prepare for trial. I remember I went to trial. Um, you know, I'll pull up a case for you guys on a case that I went to trial on back in the day. Um, if I had time, I'll pull it up for you guys at the, at the end of the stream. And I'm going to start breaking down some of the cases I did back in the day when I was an agent, guys, for y'all. Um, oh, Tory Meg, Christina, you want to give them a quick uh, update on that? They're asking about the Tory Lanez thing. You've been you've been researching that. Tell the people what's going on. Okay. Because I've been asking me a million times about that before I break, in, break into this. So we have court documents. Um, but the only thing is that it's just not clear enough and I feel like we need better ones. So I have someone going to the courthouse this week to get the rest of them. As for the police report, we cannot get that. They won't allow it. We have to have like, I think be a blood relative or like an attorney. Someone's probably got to go to the police station to get it. No, they, the guy, the guy went, they wouldn't allow him. They want to give it to him? No. Cause you have to get like, uh, you have to literally have permission. Fucking clown world, bro. In California. So. Fucking we'll California clown world. But, I mean, I, by this week, we should have to. We, we could file a FOIA, Freedom of Information Act, but that's a pain in the ass. It could take months. Let me see if I know maybe like an attorney. Maybe. Okay. We could, Aisha, I could talk to Aisha. It's fucking TV clown world. Something. But yeah, um, this week we should have something for Tori yeah. Lane. We have like that. I think I gave you the affidavit. Uh, but it's just like, it's just, it's not clear enough. No, no, you gave me like his arrest document shit. Was that it? Yeah. Well, don't worry, guys. We'll get it. Someone said two weeks sex offenders, two weeks in a row. Come on, Myron. Hey, E, bro. Uh, this is what the people wanted, bro. They wanted uh, Epstein and G Ghislaine. You got to do both of them. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we're here. So anyway, uh, let's pull this bad boy up. Okay, so um, our boy, uh, juror number 50, um, I'm going to show you guys. 